again, YouTubers on Spongebob 101, back here again on the Spongebob channel. And today we have our Spongebob comics issue number 73, Curse of the SS Unpleasant review video. Alright, so this issue actually came out a couple weeks back in October, obviously. It was for Halloween, um, but, you know, I really never quite got to making the videos because I was really busy. Um... And that's why I also didn't make any of the new episode review videos for the latest episodes, including uh, a really cool episode also known as The Legend of Bukini Bottom. Alright, but we'll be doing that this month in November, alright? But to start off the month of November, we have this comic right here. Without further ado, let's begin, alright? Okay, so here it is, the cover... And um, let me just take it all and we'll take a closer look. All right, so Curse of the SS Unpleasant. Um, I gotta say, you know, the SpongeBob Comics team is really, really creative with um, all of these uh, starter pages. I mean, you know, in every issue, you have one uh, brand new cool design um, that you really would expect. So, really kudos to the SpongeBob Comics team at United Plank Pictures. Anyways, our main story of this issue, Mama Crab's Knitting Room of Nightmares. Alright, so, again, I'm just gonna, like, you know, just browse through here. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so the real title is called The Curse of S.S. Unpleasant. And basically, it's uh, Mrs. Crab's, okay, Mama Crab's, narrating this entire story. I really like this one. M-O-N-E-Y. So, yeah, basically, about spooky but true tales of the sea. Captain Vile. So, basically, she's saying that the Krusty Krab is haunted and he has to close the shop. Close shop for well at least a night, okay. So, um, but one thing that's holding them back is the lighthouse crew, which are pretty big money spenders at the Krusty Krab. So you know he's kind of in a dilemma, and he just lets SpongeBob, you know, suffer <laughs> while he escapes. But yeah, anyways, he has bad dreams or nightmares there, and guess what? Spongebob was taken! Dun dun dun! Okay, anyway. <laughs> okay, honestly, the first time I actually read this, um, I was expecting what was to come. So, yeah, I hope you guys are actually in suspense of what's gonna happen right now. He's in the walk-in freezer! Trapped in the... Curse Purgatory Dimension. <laughs> look at just just look at that man. There's a crab being slapped in his face. Sailor's jig, okay. So it turns out that actually the lighthouse crew played a prank on SpongeBob. So and you know they kind of. Well, stuff tip into the chimney pipes. Uh oh. So, yeah, she opens the gateway to, well, some other dimension. And Mr. Krabs gets sucked in. Wow. And guess where he lands? The SS Unpleasant. I mean, uh, Mr. Krabs is never ever gonna <laughs> be part of a ghostly crew, so FYI, ghosts. <laughs> Mrs. Krabs. I keep saying Mrs. Krabs. I mean, she, her real name is Mrs. Krabs, but I don't even know why she calls Mama Krabs. Okay, Mama Krabs, right? <laughs> Pretends to be the captain. 
and it turns out it was a ruse. But at least Mr. Cards was rescued. Yay! A true artist only dances when inspired. And at the moment. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't, I can't remember. Yeah, bow. Yeah, the bow of the ship was cut off. I'm pretty sure it's called bow, right? I mean, the front of the ship. Uh, whatever, anyway. The real Captain Vile. <laughs> Mrs. Krabs is scared. And turns out Mr. Krabs, yay, is the con artist there. And since when did Mrs. Krabs have... Okay, Mama Krabs. Since when did Mama Krabs have a pet snail? I, I never knew that. Okay, I never knew that. <laughs> but yeah, this is a pretty good tale. It lasted 22 pages though, so yeah, quite a long story. Um, overall, four, 4 out of 5. We have Sponge Funnies by Kochalka. Haunted Ha Ha. Okay, it's a haunted hot dog. I'm not scared, I'm gonna eat it. Wait, that's not a hot dog, that's a candle. Ooh, spooky. And Supernatural Facts. It has an unearthly glow, literally. Haha, <laughs> unearthly, I get it. Because it's not the earth, it's the moon. Actually, I'm a ghost, boo. <laughs> Cute. Oh well, 4 out of 5 as usual. Okay, so now we have this one. Moon Goon. Story and layout by Bob Flynn. Art by David Grant. So, uh, Squidward's looking through his telescope there. And he forgets his souffle. souffle. Patrick knocks over the telescope. And Skur is then looking at Spongebob, but he doesn't realize it. So, for a second I thought I saw something on the moon. Lots of Spongebobs. I did see something. It's a whole moon colony. Wait, are those the tanks? Are they planning an invasion? Who knew Spongebob's... The surface of Spongebob was so densely populated with, like, sponges and tanks and stuff. Even weirder aliens. There's probably like viruses and all that. What if they're trying to escape? What if they come here? I just want to see the clips. Then he realizes, wait a minute. <laughs> He's been looking at SpongeBob the whole time. Of course, he must have countless tiny parasites living in his pores. Parasites living in his pores? <laughs> yeah, it's good like me in a sense, because, you know, I'm really uh, concerned about cleanliness. But, you know, parasites are like. This thing or you know, bacteria. Uh, 4.5 out of 5. We also have Floatsome Fables, Ghosts of the Sea. Story by Karen Snyder and art by Vanessa Davis. Okay, this one I'm just gonna uh, breeze through this one. It's yeah, pretty okay, I guess. 3.5 out of 5. Now we have The Ghost of the Rare Penny. Story by James Kochalka and Pencils and Inks by Hilary Barb Barta. Oops, sorry about the cut there, I accidentally pressed the stop button. But anyways, yeah, so as I was saying, this reminds me of um, that episode uh, in season 6. I believe it was Penny Foolish. And yeah, Mr. Curtis was so obsessed with that penny that he had to have it. You know, he did so many things that definitely cost it way more than one penny uh, to win that penny from Spongebob. And it turned, and, and you know, he just gets disappointed in the end. Yeah, so something like that, but you know, now we have the element of like ghosts. Penny being like a ghost and all that. <laughs> oh man. In Kelp we trust. I wonder if Fly increases his value. Let me think this over. The next day. So is that thing just gonna haunt you forever now? I don't see anymore and I'm covered in warts and jewel and weird hair, but it's all worth it. Ooh, I'm hunting you. A normal penny is only worth one cent, but the flying ultra rare 1932 lives McGillicuddy is worth three cents. I win the end. Print at Beastview, Quebec, Canada, September 25th, 2017. Alright, this, this is just gross, man. This is just gross. <laughs> but four out of five, I guess. 
Oh yeah, and uh, speaking of this here, the Ultimate SpongeBob the Comics Collection, we have this coming in the mail right now from Amazon.com. Well, that will be in our 6th anniversary mail day video. Make sure you look for for that. Coming in to less than two weeks actually now. But yeah, that's going to be exciting. On the back, we have Franken-Bob. So yeah, look at all that. Look at the mob there. And look at the evil Mr. Krabs. <laughs> Complaint. Total spaz. How to create the perfect employee by violating the laws of nature. Yeah, alright. So yeah, 4.5 out of 5. Alright, so let me just keep this in here first. Overall, this Halloween issue, um, I guess quality of SpongeBob comics nowadays is pretty consistent. Uh, you know, all of them are pretty nice, and uh, you know, you really don't have those meaningless comics that just don't belong there. You know, so that that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, like, favorite, comment, etc. If you're interested in getting one of these of your own, make sure to head down to your local comic book store. I don't actually have a link to anywhere that you can buy online um, that ships worldwide except like eBay but um, you know that's not really a very official like way of purchasing things anyway so it's more like a peer-to-peer -peer transaction so yeah but uh, you know if I ever do find a site you know like, you know how to play the bigger seriously like can you just you know have a website that sells of comics I mean that will make it way more accessible to everyone and you'll earn a lot of more money, all right? <laughs> Just, you know, heads up if you're watching this. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, favorite, comment, etc. And keep it right here on All of SpongeBob 101 for more SpongeBob videos coming soon. All right, so in the next video, uh, we'll be reviewing SpongeBob, or at least the, uh, the, the rest of the episodes that premiere in October. So make sure to stay tuned for that. That'll be the next uh, three videos. Alright, so make sure to stay tuned for that. See you guys in the next video. Bye!